Brent Tech here where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to let you know about a new feature that Google has started testing in Chrome Canary 125 which is the latest preview version and it's regarding searching through your history which um, could make searching through your history and your history page a lot simpler and quicker and easier to do. Now just a quick recap, currently in the stable version if we head to our history and we head over to our main history page in the settings. Yeah, we've got by date or by group, which is part of um, your journeys and so on. Now, this is where the change is coming. Now, it's not a default feature. And like most of these new experimental features, uh, we have to enable an experimental flag, which we can do by heading over to our experimental flags page by entering Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags into the address bar. And if we type in history, that's enough to bring up the relevant flag. And the flag is called History Embeddings. And the description reads, when enabled, the History Embeddings feature may operate. So obviously, as always, we change that from default to enabled, and we relaunch the browser to apply that flag. And now if we go back to our history page, you'll see some differences. So first of all, we can see here, we've got new buttons to filter the different entries on the Chrome history page. So you've got by group, yesterday, last week, last month. Now, as you can see, it's still early days. And although I've clicked on those, uh, not too much is happening. It just shows no results. But this does give us a good indication that Google could be thinking of giving us these different filter options, which I actually think is a nice move. It'll just make it a lot easier to sort through your history. And a lot of these new features, as you may well know, in Canary browsers, when they first roll out, it's still early days and they, don't, and they don't operate and function as expected. And yeah, we can also see that they've also added a new text. Now, I don't know if you can see this in the um, video. It's a little bit small, but it's explaining what data is collected and you can click on the link to learn more. And yeah, it says search through your history, enter a search query to search through history. Um, yeah, is some more placeholder text about how to search history and so on and what data is available. So at the stage, this is a placeholder. That's why it's not functioning. And obviously we can X out of that and there we go. But this is a good indication that Google could be adding new buttons to filter the different entries on the Chrome history page. And I actually think I like this. Um, I think it will just make the whole experience, especially if you've got a, a large browsing history, I think it'll just make the whole browsing experience um, and searching through your history, that experience a lot simpler and quicker to do. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.